Welcome back to another Easy As Accounting Software video presentation. What I want to discuss in this video presentation is adding some categories to your system. If you look at your expenses, you will see that there is a defined amount of categories that we've included in the system. Now, they may or may not be of use to you. You might look at them and go, well, I don't need half of them. So you can delete them and you can enter in what categories you want. What you can't delete is these four vehicle categories because they're required for one specific report. Regardless of whether you use them or not, you can't delete them. Too bad. If I jump up to here, if I go into the setup menu, you see under expenses, I can add new expense categories. If I jump into here, this particular screen comes up. Now it does, it does a little bit more than just categories and I'll explain that. If we look here, we can add a new expense category, right? The next number in use is going to be number 33. If we jump down the list here, we'll see the last item that was used was number 32. I'm going to jump in here and I'm just going to add a new category. I'm going to call it Pussycat. That's my category name, right? I'm not going to give it a target number. I'm going to come back to them in a second. Click OK and you'll see it's added a new category called Pussycat, but it's chucked in alphabetical order. Where is it? Here. It's chucked in alphabetical order and a Pussycat. So now if I jump into the expenses, you'll see I now also have a selection of Pussycat. Right? So that's how you add a new category. Very simple, folks. Nice and easy. Now let's have a look at something. Since advertising, see how we've selected this? What Look what happens here. If I go back to a category, set up category, Advertising, ah, it says to me I can't delete that. Can't delete that because there's already expense items included. So if you have any businesses, any of your businesses for any year, you try to delete these categories, it won't let you do it, folks. Because whilst there's a, whilst there's a business for this year, sorry, any of your businesses for this year with that category, it won't let you do it. So um, that's a protection method. Otherwise, you could delete the categories and the system would just go to shit. It, would, it wouldn't be able to control itself. So you can't accidentally delete a category you've already got entries in. So that's a safeguard for you. For your categories are simple. What I want to show you, though, is target categories. This is unique. It's very specific for those who want it. I know if we think of our friends in Canada, their system of accounting, of allowing for income tax, so I've been led to believe, their numbering system for, say, general has never changed. Let's say their number, say their number is equal to that on their tax tax forms. And it's, apparently it's always been equal to that. It's been like that for 20 years or something. So I've been told that's how it works over there. So you can actually give that as your target number, that particular category. Now, that way when you print a target category report, you can just look at this number and transcend the totals, so if I just give that, I'll show you, if I give that a target category, right, I'm going to exit here, I'm going to come into here, I'm going to print out an expense target categories report. Let me show you something. Target categories for the complete year. See this? It tells me that for category 1, 2, 5, 4, which is the general category, well, that's the total for the year. Total for the year is $275 has been added up. So now I know I can just put that straight away into that category for your um, taxes. Isn't that easy? You're going to look at that and go, well, that's absolutely irrelevant for the rest of us. Okay, however, it's not. It's really nice. This is what we can do. Let's say you run a business and, like me, this is what I do, folks. In my expenses, I have... I'm going to jump into here. I'm going to go up into the expense categories. I'm going to add two new expenses. I'm just going to show you something. I do this. I've got elements of my business that I run separate from it, from each other. Materials number one. Let's just give this an expense category of number 22 for now. Right? Triple two. Right? That's what I've called mine. And then I'm going to add a new one of expense of materials number two. I've got two lots of material items here. They've both got the same category number. But when we go jump to our expenses, if I made if I made these these particular materials, I'm just gonna make these materials so that you can see something. When we click when we print these individual reports, it's pretty obvious that these are going to be kept separate. So if I view this report on the screen, 
it will show you that this is separate. No difference. You you pretty much knew that, that was going to happen anyway, didn't you? Okay, so that's separated, right? So then when I click up a totals report on the back here, I click expense totals. It's told me, it gives me the total separated. I've done this because it, it's, I'm able to separate different elements of my business apart from each other. And I can see what elements of my business are profitable and what elements of my business are and how much certain areas are. So you can get that in depth with accounting, folks. Even for small business, you can do this. And this is why we've added this categories bit as well because it, you, it allows you to get that, that um, individualized. But when it comes time for getting grand totals, you don't want to be getting your calculator out and adding uh, at the end of the year and adding, oh, get your calculator and add 122, 75 plus 377. Hang on, it's a computer. Isn't it supposed to do more than that for you? So what happens now then, because I've, I've given them both the same categories, category number, it, this screen here will only bring up items with categories next to them, by the way. Okay, so all those other, cate all those other categories in the expense which isn't listed with a number next to them, a category number, isn't going to come up. But now if I click a totals or total of the category list, right? It's now told me that that particular category, triple two, it's added these two amounts for me and it's done it all for me. So that is really nice because now I know what the total amount of category triple two is. Okay, which just happens to be, if you're in Canada, it just happens to be your general column or whatever it is. Okay, so you're going to get the idea. You can use this to get a more in-depth view of um, your system. Okay, so that's what categories is all about. So if I jump up in, into the, I hope I've explained this right for you folks. I hope I haven't marked this up. Jump up in here. That's what that is. Now you don't have to use categories. Most people, I know a lot of people who don't. Okay, the average small business isn't going to use them because the average mum and dad at home, they don't really care less. You just want to do your accounts, put your income in, put your expenses in, get out of it. You want to go back and watch the tally or go up and do something. You're sick of doing them for doing stuff for the government anyway. But those of you who need this, especially those in Canada, I know they need it. And I know a few businesses personally in Australia that use this extensively. I don't think I need to explain that any further. Well, I will explain something else into another into another video. However, um, you can also include that for your your vehicle categories. You can give them a category number. You can't delete these, like you can delete these ones. See, I can delete that. Right, although, oh no, there's nothing in there. So I can delete these. Oh, there's, there's an entry against the phone. So you can delete whatever ones you, you don't want in the system. Anything that we've, we've given a name to and you don't want it, just delete that category. You don't need it. See, I've, I've, got, I've got entries against these. <laughs> so we can't delete them. So anyway, you did see me get rid of a couple a second ago. Can I delete that one? Yep, there's no entries against that. Nothing we caught. Oh, something there. Anything we caught against this one? So I can delete entries that I don't want, any categories that I don't want. So when I jump back into the expenses now, you see that that's shrunken a bit. I don't have so many on the list. So, right, I think I've explained that enough. I'll go into another video and I'll explain the next bit.